to me brand that I'm trying and it is Menagerie Cosmetics. So this is an indie brand and this is their Sugar High palette. It's called a Press Pigment and Eyeshadow Palette. Once you open it, here is the palette. It looks really pretty. Oof, pretty, right? Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Menagerie Cosmetics. They are described as a small husband-wife brand based out of Post Falls, Idaho. Do y'all remember that joke when you were a kid? Idaho? No, you to hell. <laughs> Our products are inspired by wildlife and our formulations and products are made in our own manufacturing facility right here in the good old U.S. of A. They are proudly 100% talc-free, cruelty-free, and vegan for all of you who love that stuff. So I have seen their products for a while and I think yeah, yeah, this was an emotional purchase. I think I was having like a bad week or something and I was like, I want an eyeshadow. And so I decided that I would get this palette and here we are. So what I'm first going to do is I am going to swatch these. It looks like there are shimmers and mattes. I haven't touched anything yet. Let's see, this is a 12 pan palette and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six shimmers and six mattes. And I kind of like how the, the rows kind of go together. Now I mentioned that this is the Sugar High palette, so let me tell you a little bit about that palette specifically. Okay, so I looked through the website and I don't see anything specifically about the Sugar High palette. You know, sometimes brands will have descriptions of like what inspired the palette or anything like that. And I don't see anything unless I'm constantly looking in the wrong place. What I will say is that I appreciate the extra information that they give you on the website. So they do say that their products are handmade in-house in small batches and so there might be slight color variations between each batch due to their small batch manufacturing process. I can appreciate that. They do say that it is vegan and it's artistry pressed pigment that may cause staining and or irritation if you are sensitive to red number 27, red number 7, or yellow number 6. Now if you're sensitive to those things, I imagine that you know you are. Um, let's see also. Uh, they list what they use for their matte formula and they also list what they use for their metallic formula. The metallic formula says it has calcium in it. Is that gonna help my bones? Hmm, that'd be amazing. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and do some swatches? Um, there are 12. It's probably better to swatch on my arm than huh? Because 12 I don't think are gonna fit on my hand. Actually, we're gonna try it, okay? Let's try it. Is there any description? Okay, this first shade here is called Sugar Cube. Pretty, super pretty. Let me turn the light down so maybe you can see it a little bit better. This next shade is called Falling with style. Isn't that from Toy Story? I think that's from Toy Story. Let me know. That's really pretty. I think, wasn't it Woody who said about Buzz Lightyear, he's not flying, he's falling with style? Or did Buzz Lightyear say that? I don't know, help me remember. I haven't seen the movie in ages. This next shade is called Sweet Varieties. I know what that's from. Hmm. 
So there is that. And the last shade in this row is called Yogurt Drop. Oh my god, you know it sounds good right now? Like some frozen yogurt. Froyo. Alright. Let me clean off I think there's just a tiny bit of staining probably from the blue now this shade here is called slice the shade next to it is called pouch protective That kind of reminds me of my one of my favorite shades in the uh, Melt Amor y Mariposas palette. I think it's the shade Mariposas. Uh, just like this really pretty orange shimmer. Alright, the shade next to that is called Nom Nom. Like Nom 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 Nom. Leave me alone. Pretty. That's super pretty. I don't know why I said that like that. That's weird. And this one here is called Joey. So is this one... I was going to say, is this row like about kangaroos? Because you've got pouch protection and then a joey. Isn't that another word for a kangaroo? Y'all, I don't know, okay? I just be pulling from the recesses of my mind. Ooh, now I think this bottom row is going to be my favorite. These are definitely my kind of colors. So this first shade here is called Snuggle Bug. I definitely feel like that's something I would call somebody I like care about. Like, hi Snuggle Bug. Hi Snuggle Buggy. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I love that color. Very pretty, very pretty. All right. The next shade is Ruby. Ooh. That's pretty. That reminds me of this shade from JD Glow called Volcano. I think the JD Glow one is a bit brighter. How do we feel about them? They said some really like stupid things. This one here is Sugary Sweet. Lay me! Oh, sugary sweet. That's pretty. And the last one in this row is called Furry Friend. Now we all know our furry friend is Rosé. But listen, let me tell you something. Rosé had her late lunch and she sleep. Well, usually she'll pop up out of nowhere. Let me make sure because sometimes she'll be sitting right next to me and I don't even be knowing. Here is that but she sleep girl she got to get her sleep in after she eats her food don't play with her this is pretty this is very much like kind of like a rainbow palette not many very deep colors but shades that do look like they'll all show up on my well duh they just showed up on my skin tone um so yeah it's i feel like this is gonna be like a bright a super bright look whatever I decide to do I literally have not decided but here is that 
and let's wash this off and see if we get any staining and then I will do a look so here we go okay so I just used a makeup wipe to take the shadow off and I don't see any staining so it came off pretty well my fingers wiped off pretty well. There's a little bit of something on there, but that's not actually uncommon when I'm doing quite a few swatches, if, especially if I'm using the same finger. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and do a look. Let me see. I think that I will use my Natasha Denona Work and Set Base. And no, I'm not going to use that one. I think I'm going to use the black one. Yeah, I think I'll use the black one. Let me think for a moment. <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna be super weird. And I'm going to use the nude, I was gonna say white, but it's the shade is called nude, and the black. Just, just follow me on this journey, okay? Okay.
finished look with the Menagerie Cosmetics Sugar High Press Pigment and Eyeshadow Palette. I like the pigment of these shades. Everything was pretty easy to use. The mattes are a little dry and powdery, but they're easy to blend out and they definitely like feel like pressed pigments. They're not super creamy or anything like that, but easy to use. I feel like they show up the way they are in the pan, like the colors translate very much the same. Um, I like the shine that I'm getting on these like metallics and I'm hoping that whatever calcium is in them that's gonna like help with my bones. Y'all don't believe me like that is not medical advice. <laughs> Take your vitamins okay? All right. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Let me know if you've tried Menagerie Cosmetics. They do have um, these two palettes coming out called Claws and Paws. And I mean, I have to get one or both of them, okay? I have to because like, I have to do it because of Rosé because she has Claws and Paws. That's a good reason, right? <laughs> Anyways, hopefully some of this was helpful. Let me know if you've tried out Menagerie. I can now add this to my list of brands that I have tried this year. I will have a video about the brands that I tried this year. I think I'll just keep it to the eyeshadow brands. Um, let me know what you think. Do you want like foundation? whatever else lipstick I don't think I've bought much of those other things so it might just be best to do um eyeshadow brands that I've tried this year coming up anyways um what was I gonna say mm, hopefully some of this was helpful I hope that you're taking care of yourself I need to schedule another massage I feel like I'm I need one uh yeah I, I need one or two yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me know how you are taking care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.